What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome to this tutorial. And of course, I know you guys voted for for Photoshop, but I haven't made an illustrated tutorial in a while, so I decided to uh start making more illustrated tutorials, and I'm pretty sure you guys will love this tutorial. Uh this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to make an origami styled uh picture slash poly like polygon kind of effect. Um so if you went over to my Instagram, you've probably already seen a picture of me where I made something similar to this, but on my face. And that takes uh, a couple of hours to do, but this is really simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and begin. So first, you're going to need a picture of something. I just chose a bird because it's very easy and something small and quick to do. So um, we're going to be doing uh, something like this, okay? So first, make sure you have your image imported into Adobe Illustrator. And uh, once you have it... Um, you know, once it's inside of uh, Illustrator, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be like uh, tracing um, our object here. So select your image, go over to um, transparency right here. If you don't have transparency, go to window and go to transparency or shift command F10 for the shortcut, uh, which I don't know even why it's a shortcut, which is, I don't know. Um, so go over to opacity and change that to to 40% and that will allow you to to see um, what you're tracing and kind of give you a better view of what you're actually doing okay so we're gonna lock this now so you cannot move any anything okay we're gonna create a new layer on top of that we're gonna name this trace and I'm gonna go over to our pen tool and that's what we're gonna be using to trace our image and it's very easy all you have to do is just what I like to do is try not to get like details like this. We're not going to be using the pencil that way. And by the way, take off the fill for now. I'm going to just fill this with a white like that. So we're not going to be doing curves at all because it's origami. And, you know, when you use paper, it's sharp edges. So um, we're going to be pretty much um, doing big um, stuff like this. OK, we don't want to like add too much detail to the photo like this because it will make it look uh, less interesting. So I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to go like this and then I'm just making big shapes here and I forgot to take this off here. Um, so like that. So make sure you have no fill and an outline of uh, whatever color you want. Uh, let me go ahead and change this to uh, look a red so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So to start here, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here here I'm just making like really big um, uh, how should I say this big uh, <clears throat> I'm like the more the less points you do the less detail the image is. the more points you do the more detail you're putting into the image so I'm just gonna go something like that like this kind of going over um, stuff like that so I'm not really following around this uh, his nail or whatever his claw I'm just kind of outlining it like this, something like that. Um, so going like this. Eh, I could do much better than that. I don't know, something like that, like this. And then I'm just doing huge leaps from here and there. Let's see, like that. Here, here. So it's just when you're going to smaller places, it's OK to add a little bit more detail, but um, not too much. So you can see I'm not doing a lot of stuff here. So I'm just going like this. I'm kind of doing this quick like that, maybe like this um, here, here, um, maybe like here. So I'm, I'm just pretty much going around our subject here. So like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, so once we have done that, press V on your keyboard to make it a selection or to close the path. Once you've done that, we're going to press P again and make sure you have your smart guides checked. If you don't have your smart guides, go over to window and go to uh, smart guides, which should be um, here somewhere or view. It's on view smart guides or command U for the shortcut and what we're doing here is we're now we're just going to create triangles we're not going to be creating crazy stuff and you're going to be doing it from our edges here so let me zoom in and show you guys so I'm gonna start here I'm gonna go 
like right here where it shows a little bit of detail. I'm gonna go up and click an edge here, just like that, and then click down, and you're gonna see a little circle. Click that, and sometimes it may not be straight because this is this isn't straight. So I'm gonna just follow along this path here and then click it again to close it and press V to end it. So again, press P, click somewhere else. Um, you can start anywhere exactly. I'm gonna just start like right here. I'm gonna go up because there really isn't a lot of detail with within um, our bird here. So I'm gonna just click, uh, let's see here. Wait a minute. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna go here. Oops. Make sure you press V to end the path. Start again by pressing P. And I'm gonna just click here, here, and here. I'm just I'm just choosing the edges. Okay. Let's press P. I'm gonna click. Um, I'm gonna start a new one right here. I'm gonna go up. Oh, I'm just clicking the edges or the corners, and then you can see a circle. That's when you when you end the path or to close the path. Press V to get out of it click away, press P again, and then start over just like that. So this will take some time. It's okay. Um, you know, that's the, that's the beauty of it because the more time you take with it, the better stuff will uh, look. So, um, I'm gonna just go across now. I don't want to add too much detail to this. So like that here and then here. So it looks good. Um, so the bigger areas is the part where you're, you're, you're probably going to want to uh, like choose. So probably not there because that's where um, cloth starts. So maybe here and here, here. That looks good. All right. Um, press P again. I'm going to start here in this little edge. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. I'm going to just click anywhere here. And then I'm gonna click right here. Um, yeah, so that's good. And one more point here, press P. I'm gonna click uh, right there, whoops. Right here, here, there, and right here. Press V and close the path. Here, same thing, um, I'm, gonna not, I'm, I'm gonna try and not to add a lot of, um, point because I wanted to get, keep it as simple as possible. So that looks good. Press P and I'm gonna click here in this corner. I'm gonna click again here. Once again at the very edge and to close it off, you're gonna see a little circle. Click that and you're done. Press V, click away, do it again. Um, maybe <clears throat> I could do it here, here and here. And press V and um, maybe here as well. Again, you're just going to want to create triangles. You don't want to create squares or anything because because then it's going to look a little bit weird. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible without taking you guys' time here. And there. And one last thing. All right, that looks good. All right, I think we're pretty much done with this here. Um, so yeah, once we have done that, select everything, and then we're gonna go over to our Pathfinder. If you don't have your Pathfinder, uh, go to Window and go to Pathfinder or Shift-Command-F9 for the shortcut, and here it is. And let me zoom in so you guys can see. So we're gonna be choosing uh, this right here. It's gonna say Divide. Click that, and now it's gonna be, now you can be able, now you can, Choose um, each object individually. Uh, so, like, if you wanted to choose this one, you could select it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this with a gradient, so that way it looks a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna go over to our gradient, which is right here. If you don't have a gradient, let me drag this out so you guys can see. Go over to Window and uh, Gradient or or Command F9, and then I'm gonna click this right here. Make sure it's a linear type. Uh, linear don't select radial and I'm gonna click this because there's no fill right here I'm um, gonna just fill this with a maybe I'll go with blue because it doesn't like nice blue color 
Whoops. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's go with blue. Uh, let's choose like a light blue. So you want to choose something that's light, not too dark. Let me choose something lighter. Like that. And then, um, so yeah, click this first one right here. And then click this. So, whoops. What did I do there? Oh, yeah, so click our gradient right here. And then choose our gradient selector. And then select this, or double click. Then choose a light color that you're going to be wanting to put. Click OK. Then choose our last one right here. Just click the little square. Double click our fill and choose a darker blue or a darker color. Um, so I'm going to go like this. Um, I'm not, I don't really like the color to be honest. So you, you can tell it's selected because there's a little black arrow right there. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go with um orange because i love the color orange if i can select it <laughs> all right let's go here um so it looks good okay and we're going to choose a darker orange so something like that uh i cannot select it oh my gosh okay okay there we go. Except this um, should be the other way around. If you want to flip them, just switch them like that. Like that. Plus, this needs to be a lighter color. Oh, my goodness. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So, now you can see that what we've created. Um, if there's a stroke, just take it off. It's going to be right here in our outline. Just click this right here, and it will take it off. So, now if we zoom out and we take off our, our background or image you can see we've created our bird and that looks that looks pretty cool okay if you were to ask me that looks pretty darn cool and you could create like a lot of stuff like this if you really wanted to um, you can change the colors and stuff it's all up to you um, but I mean this looks freaking gorgeous and it's um, vector based so if, no matter how far you zoom in the lines are gonna be perfect so that's something um, really cool that I've found on the internet or I came up with it's very easy to do anybody can do it as long as you know how to you know use the tools and stuff then it's easy so if you guys love this tutorial please leave a, a you know a like or a dislike if you don't like this video I don't know why you wouldn't like it cuz guys this looks awesome and uh, yeah so I'll see you guys on my next video please don't forget to vote on my next video um, actually change blinds just leave whatever you want um, in the comments um, like a video suggestion and I will take that into consideration. And if it, you know, if I like it, then I will for sure make a video on that. So just please leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't because I post videos like this. And see you guys later. Peace.